Welcome back everyone. Okay, let's talk a bit about the shapes. Now I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to go and delete these just to start off with. And I'm just going to go ahead and delete this right here too. So as we talked about before, this shape right here is the basic shape of that function that we saw in the preview code. Now you'll notice that there's a little kind of bump right here. And you'll notice that this just fits in quite nicely. Okay. Now I'm just going to go ahead and delete this. Now if you look at this area of stencil, you'll see that there are a whole bunch of different kinds of shapes here. So you can see if we click on actors here, you can see that there's a square one and then that there's a triangular one and then there's this one with the bumps as well. So let's just drag these out right here. Now, by the way, if you see this, if there's something that is not in the code here, uh, the game will not run. Or what will end up happening is that Stencil will ignore this code. So don't. Uh, so make sure that when you're coding that there are no loose code fragments like this. All right. So if we go ahead and you see this bump, the bump fits in quite well there. And if you go ahead and you find something else with a bump, let's say like this, again, that fits well. Now, if you take a look at the top here, it takes both of them. But if you just take this one, it only takes one of them. So just keep that in mind because this is a workflow problem later on. So I'm just going to go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and delete this for a second. But you'll notice that something with the bump here, without the bump, doesn't work. This doesn't fit in. Neither does this one. All right. Now if we go ahead and we take this here, you can see that the bump fits in. But this, it also fits in. Right? But this doesn't fit in. And as you can see, this has the triangular sides right here. And that does work. So the one thing about stencil is that the code blocks fit in rather nicely um, to each other. And the shapes end up being what works. So watch this. Now, again, this code doesn't really work, but you can see that there's a square there, and you can bet that the square fits in right there. So let's just take a quick look at this. We have bumps that fit with bumps. We have these triangulars, or they're actually hexagons, believe it or not. And we also have this right there. That all fits in with each other. And for the most part, just because it fits doesn't mean it will work. Sometimes you might put something in here that may not work. So I believe that this um, this doesn't exactly work because it's a Boolean and we don't need to worry about that right now. But if you take a look at any of these right here, you can see that there are a whole bunch of different kinds of shapes. And the shapes will fit in um, depending on whether they can actually fit. And this makes perfect sense because if you, if you were to go in the code and if you were to talk about the code, certain kinds of code work in certain situations and other kinds of code do not. And that is a whole other tutorial series on just what I just said there. But for the most part, all you need to know is that the shapes fit in with each other in stencil. I'll see you guys next time.